If you've been on the internet at all this last week, you've probably heard of a new Chinese AI that's caused tech companies like NVIDIA to lose hundreds of billions of dollars in a single day. Of course, we are talking about DeepSeek. So what exactly is so special about DeepSeek? Well, it's said to be on par or better than your traditional AIs like ChatGPT, and it was developed at a fraction of the cost without any of the newer NVIDIA chips. So imagine investors dumping billions of dollars into developing and improving an AI, and then just having someone come in and literally for 0.1% of the cost without access to the newest technologies, they can develop something that is the same or even better. So yeah, that is going to cause some panic in the AI space. So in this video, I'm not going to dive into everything an AI can do and all the politics behind this new AI. Our channel focuses mainly on creating trading bots and indicators. So that is going to remain the focus of our test today. My goal with this video is to take a realistic approach into what this AI can do for us in terms of coding our own algos, trading bots, indicators, and whether it's actually worth using or not. I've done a separate video like this using ChatGPT in the past. This video is going to be very similar. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be creating a strategy on NinjaTrader 8 because that is the platform I like to use. And before we get started, none of this is financial advice. I do not recommend copying anything you see in this video do your own research, test out your own strategies. But with that, let's get started. All right, first we have to make an account. And then once we're logged in, I'm going to ask it to help me build a profitable trading strategy. And it seems just like any other AI out there, it's going to spew out some pretty generic trading advice. So things to watch out for, some of the more popular markets to trade, and also some general how to test information. And this is, good and all, but it leaves us with a very vague plan. And that doesn't really help us much. And to be fair, how do you answer something that there really isn't a straight answer to? Well, I'm going to ask it to code it, that's how. All right, that is more like it. Now we have an actual script, we have actual rules that we can follow and put to work. And just looking at the code here, I'm actually fairly impressed. Uh, it just appears to be a simple 50 EMA crosses a 200 EMA. Now my old ChatGPT video, it actually gave us something very similar. The ChatGPT gave us some pretty outdated code and we still had to make a few changes in order to compile it. But this one, I'm looking at the code and I'm not seeing anything that really stands out that will cause any compiling issues. Now, if we look into it a little bit more, Yes, I'm seeing things like this add chart indicator. This should really be in the data loaded state. That is what NinjaTrader recommends, but it should be okay for now. And over here, you have your risk per trade. And this is good if your stop is changing on every single bar. And it looks like it does just that on this code. It puts your stop at the high or the low of the previous bar. So the risk per trade is going to help adjust your position size on every single trade, so it maintains a consistent risk to reward. All right, so let's open up the NinjaScript editor. We're going to create a new strategy and we're going to copy this code directly into it and hit that compile button. And it seems to actually compile without any additional input. So that by itself, even though this is a very basic script, that is very impressive, even compared to ChatGPT in the past. Now, before we actually load this on the chart, we need to figure out what is the best time frame and bar type to run this on. So again, after asking it this question, we get some more generic vague answers. So yes, you can try the five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, whatever bar type that you want. I don't think it's going to give you any actual answer because again, there is no best answer. So I think for this video, what I'm going to do because NVIDIA and tech companies in general lost hundreds of billions of dollars, I think the right thing to do is to try this on the NQ. So I load up the chart and I'm going to load up the strategy. And I think it's this one. I forgot to change the name of the actual strategy. Let me fix it just for the sake of the video. So I'm going to change this and okay and done. Okay, let's try this again. So I load it on the chart. We look in the properties. There are no customizable features. You only get what you get. And I mean, that's all right. 
if it's profitable, then I don't think anyone would actually care. But that is a big if. But let's click that enable button and we get this mess. So this strategy is supposed to be a 50 EMA crosses a 200 EMA, but it seems to just be taking trades at any given time. It doesn't seem to be taking trades based on any crossover at all. It's just constantly hitting a profit or a stop and re-entering. And let's just pull up the historical performance just for a laugh. And look at all these profit. Uh, don't, don't believe these results there. These results are, are not realistic at all. There's no commissions. And that is an insane drawdown. Let, let me put these away. Anyways, let's take a look at the code and see if we can figure out what is happening. First thing I notice are these crazy position sizes. 112, 126, 320. Yeah, this is not happening with futures. Something seems to be very, very wrong here. And actually, I do have quite a bit of experience when it comes to a risk per trade setup. My Predator order entry and management system, even the free order entry buttons and a few other indicators I've made, all of these will calculate your risk per trade with futures and stocks. And what I see here in the code is an incomplete formula when it comes to futures. With futures, we also need to define the instrument tick value. So this is the formula that I use. It should work for most things, futures and stocks. This script does not have that. So that is something that we definitely need to fix if we are trading futures. All right, next, just to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm actually going to change the color of one of these plots. And that way we can check where the problem is for our actual entry condition. So here we see we take short anytime the fast MA is below the slow MA. And if we keep scrolling, we are taking longs anytime the fast is above the slow. Now, the reason we are not entering when there's an MA crossover is because this script does not actually identify when a crossover happens or that it actually needs to happen. We are only saying enter long when it's greater than the slow or enter short when it's less than the slow. There's no crossover function, no bull switches, nothing. So very obvious flaw there. We are going to have to fix that as well. All right, let's go back and try and fix this MA crossover and the auto position size. All right, so here we get some new results and the MA cross actually does look better now, but our stop changed to a tick size instead of basing it on the previous bars high or low, which for me, it's not really a big deal for this strategy. But again, you guys are gonna have to adjust it to whatever works for you. But one thing I did notice is it seems to have removed the auto position size completely instead of fixing it like we asked. And yes, with a set tick stop, you don't really need an auto position size because your stop is going to be the same every single time. But I still want to see if this AI can actually fix the problem. So I'm going to ask it one more time. And now with these results, it's actually looking much better. I can see here that we actually have that tick value that we talked about earlier. So this is actually looking like it's fixed. So I'm going to copy all of this into my code and I'm going to compile it and run it again. And this is what we get. It actually enters at the crossover now. So the coding side actually works. And that to me is very, very impressive as far as AI goes. Now, is it actually profitable? I personally wouldn't run this on an actual account. It has a very, very small target. Well, size isn't everything, I guess. And it would likely get destroyed. Even just going through the historical testing, the results are not that great. And this is just a very, very basic EMA crossover. After running it for a while, we got the results that you'd expect from an EMA crossover like this. Obviously not very great. You're going to need a lot more configuring. You'll likely have to play around with the EMA periods and order management, maybe set a trail stop, maybe set your profit target a little farther away, set your stop a little farther away as well so you're not getting stopped out right away. But yeah, it's going to need a little bit more configuring. I personally wouldn't run this on a live account myself. Now, with that said, I do think DeepSeek is a little bit better when it comes to coding for NinjaTrader compared to ChatGPT. But just like ChatGPT and other AIs out there, 
they are excellent tools when it comes to coding if you already have some knowledge with coding. While I definitely recommend using it to help with some structure for your code or just little code snippets as you need them, I wouldn't build an entire strategy solely from this. I think there are better resources for creating your own trading bot. At least there is when it comes to NinjaTrader. I've made several videos using NinjaTrader Strategy Builder. This is built into the platform and it makes it very easy to create your own trading bot without actually needing to code. Or if you want something that's even easier to build with some more advanced features, you can also try my Predator Order Entry and Management System. With this, you will have many different entry styles, including the MA Cross like we just saw in this video. You can customize your order management, even set an auto position size, and you can easily add other filters as well, like a PNL kill switch or time limit. And we've already created this DeepSeek bot with way more options and better order handling. And it just makes it easy to configure your strategy to your needs. But that is my take when it comes to DeepSeek and AI in general, when it comes to coding your training bots. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try something else, but as always, take care, enjoy.